In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. United in one spirit, in one God, so we are celebrating this Eucharistic celebration. So we have, during these days, we heard the prayer of unity. And especially today, Jesus is speaking and praying for this unity in the church in a special way. Keep us united as one, as we are one. So as we celebrate this Eucharist, we ask the Lord that we may be united with him and united with one another, so that with one spirit, one mind, one heart, so we may be able to celebrate this Eucharistic celebration. For all our failures, let us ask pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you, and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Since the Tribune wanted to know what precise charge the Jews were bringing against Paul, he freed him and gave orders for a meeting of the chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin. Then he brought Paul down and stood him in front of them. Now Paul was well aware that one section was made up of Sadducees and the other of Pharisees. So he called out in the Sanhedrin, Brothers, I am a Pharisee and the son of Pharisees. It is for our hope in the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial. As soon as he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the assembly was split between the two parties. For the Sadducees say, there is neither resurrection, nor angel, nor spirit, while the Pharisees accept all three. The shouting grew louder, and some of the scribes from the Pharisees' party stood up and protested strongly. We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit has spoken to him, or an angel? Feeling was running high, and the tribune Afraid that they would tear Paul to pieces, ordered his troops to go down and haul him out and bring him into the fortress. Next night, the Lord appeared to him and said, Courage, you have borne witness for me in Jerusalem. Now you must do the same in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. Preserve me, God. 
I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Alleluia. of truth, says the Lord. He will lead you to the complete truth. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. To you, o Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but for those also who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us as you are in me and I am in you so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. I have given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one. With me in them and you in me, may they be so completely one, that the world will realize that it was you who sent me, and that I have loved them as much as you loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, so that they may always see the glory you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you have sent me. I have made your name known to them, and will continue to make it known so that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bread we bring you, Lord, above We do not ask you, Lord, who is my neighbor, but stand united now. One in belief, oh, we are blessed.
my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice and our prayers may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept our sacrifice and our prayers for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again he gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and your faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all gathered here around this altar, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, Glorious Martyrs, Saint Francis of Assisi, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus has taught us how we can unite ourselves with the Father. 
he has taught us how to pray to the father let us pray the same prayer as jesus himself has taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace and joy in our days that by the help of your love and mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power Lord Jesus Christ you said to your apostles I leave you peace my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace joy and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of His love. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wish you a lovely day. God bless you.